the overtime. 14 to 13 here. So if the Shaman does activate, Miguel's life total will become seven. Brozinski's life total will become six. It'd be a sad day if they get Bob Blight off the field. Mm. Bob I'd definitely be crying if I was Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Shamans? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be, that'd be nasty. Be I don't know, though. Okay, so here is downfall. The Queen Bee goes down. Here's downfall, of course, instant cast murder that can also target a uh, planeswalker. So that takes his three devotion off to where yep. that was easier to cast for him. Yep. I mean, like I said, it's still pretty locked up in the board state with the, those those three Bs with Death Touch. You know, normal circumstance, just looking at a bunch of 1-1s one on the board really isn't that big of a deal, but the Death Touch added to him hey, is a problem. Guys on? Three. three. So looking for two more turns and then goes to a tie. They can't. So uh, what would a crazy thing that could happen here is if Miguel were to were to cat were to top deck in a Terra Stomper, um, Brazinski would really have to throw some meat in the way of it to keep it from trampling over. But he's got he's got he's got booties on the board right now. I mean, Silmgar is a three five. Tastigar is a four five. Uh, Sidisi is a four six. In addition to that. Uh, uh, Freaka being turned on line two as well as a five five indestructible. So what is Miguel gonna throw in the way here? And if I'm you know if I'm Miguel right now, I'm saying let's just go, let's go to time. I gotta stall out yeah, right here. Yeah. I gotta stall out. I, I'm just gonna be if I'm Miguel. I'm not trying to throw my formidable away. No no no. Mm. That's unfortunate. The thing is, is, like he could he could take that. Oh all this creatures. Light. Yeah and trample gets over because Nyla actually helped that god get trample. Yeah. So yeah, three, five. So he took two. So I, th I believe Miguel is at eleven. So I can't see their life totals from over here. And that might be why he threw the formidable in the way. But man, so, it's just it, so, he's got to hit something huge here. Yeah, yeah. Ugin, man. Ugin to take the whole board. Oh, out. Elvish Mystic. Great, but that's Turn. what Elvish Mystic does best, man. In the late game, you top deck an Elvish Mystic. Man, and Ugin would be so disgusting if we if we got it into turn. Looks like we're gonna make snakes. Or Tassiger. Is it Tassiger's ability? Uh, don't know yet. A lot of mana is being turned around. Looks Tassiger's like, ability, it looks like. So, interesting little synergy that Brazinski's got with the inclusion of the Merciless snake. Executor. He can now bring that Executor in, sack his snake off, make Miguel sack something off. Now, I assume Miguel would throw away an Elvish Mystic here. Hero's downfall. Okay, Ugin no, is, is no longer. Five. This is four. No. Oh, this, this is, is five? five. Oh man. So he, this is make or break. This is a tie. Right this is gonna be a tie game, man. There's no way that uh, Brozinski ever gonna be able to. Well, I don't know, man. Do you, I mean? Does he just swing all out? That's the question. Sidzi, I don't. And let trample take effect. What is he looking for here? Is he gonna try to get something back with Tassigar? I wonder. So he did hit a creature. He got a zombie he was out doing of it. Sidisi. Sidisi's yeah. triggers. It's going to be interesting here. I think it's going to come down to the last few couple bits of life. Here comes the team. In. That trample is going to play a big fact here. Oh, he kept mana open for uh, Nyla, so he's going to be able to pump whatever gets through. Which is a smart idea. Yep. So three of those creatures are going down. I assume the bees are going to go to Silimgar, Tassiger, and... Sidisi. No, uh, to the god. Because even if Sidisi is a 4 6, the god is a 5 5. Every point of damage is going to count at this point. So you throw one B in front of the god, one B in front of uh, Silumgar, and one B in front of. Uh, actually, Nyla is a 6 6. God, she's online, man. Elf going to stand in front of Nyla. She doesn't have trample. She does not have trample. Yeah, no. she doesn't have trample. So that. Will soak yeah. up a little bit of damage that we don't have to. Do. He doesn't have to eat with trample. Yeah, blocks are going to be so important here. But everything else at this point does have trample, and this is the downfall to only having these one-one token death touch bees. Yeah, they're going to kill the creatures, but damage is still going to come in. Will Brazinski be able to but seal he, the deal here? He does have. He does have a couple or one flyer that's got a big. Yeah. Big booty on him. So. Yep. That's the thing is like Silomgar doesn't usually doesn't hit very hard. Even his other version doesn't really hit very hard. But he the other one's like a three seven, right? Yeah, with hexproof. Yeah, with he the hexproof one. 
Oh, that would have been a one, great card to have in this matchup, man. This you one been... very seldom does not get run much because, I mean, it's just too easy to destroy it. Mm -hmm. The other one just sits. It gets run a lot because it gets negative one, negative one. To yeah, in addition creatures. to having seven toughness. All right, so it looks like a bee is going in the way of a dragon. Uh, so choosing blockers here. Carroted going to Freaka. Three toughness, so and his formidable guy has three toughness, so he's looking to soak up a lot of the more heavy hitters with those guys, but can't touch the slim guard in the air. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so the unblocked creatures right now are Tassigar and Corsair Crew Fix. Okay, so how much damage is coming through? Is it, is it going to be enough to seal the deal? I mean, uh, so slim guard of six, three? six damage going in with Corsair and Sidzi. Uh, two damage coming in with Freaka. That's eight. Two damage coming in with Silimgar is ten. And Hassagar with Trample should be able to do it. And, and then Brazinx is going to be able to pump whatever he wants, man. I think this is enough damage to seal the deal. I think so. Yeah. And that's assuming that my life total is correct on uh, Miguel's 11 health. And we didn't even get to see the, the formidable go off because no. my totals were just too low for, for him to pull that off. And Right. I mean, if he had pulled that off, he'd been... He'd have been dead a long time ago, going well, down yeah, so, I think, so less. I think if Miguel, I think the Paul Crane was. Oh wait, we had different. one more. We had two. He had. He was holding two. I was wondering where the other B tokens went. Okay, so he's throwing two Bs in front of them. Uh, I think he's got it. He's he's gonna be able to pump. Again, Nyla's gonna give two two. Oh, okay, the snake yeah. token in the back. With these, with these. Yeah, 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 he's going to have it. Should see GG here. I mean, what do you think on that Paul Kranos? You know what? Back to that and, let's, and let's it wait a turn. I think not even plus. I don't even – who cares about Paul Kranos? I think Miguel should have been swinging 1B. Yeah, no blocks. Pump him. Pump hit three. Next turn, 1B. No blocks. Swing three. Yeah. Next turn, you know, just – because he definitely had some, he definitely had enough blockers, so he could have, yeah, he could have extended it a little bit. I mean, he didn't have to overextend, but he could have extended it a little bit. Right. All right. So Brzezinski will take that as two one and down to the wire. That was turn five and uh, basically Magic the Gathering overtime here. Uh, standard rules dictate that if you go to time, and I believe our games are an hour long or fifty minutes. Fifty minute rounds. Fifty minute rounds. So if you go to if your fifty minutes time limit, each player gets five turns, or you get five turns to try to win the game. Yep. Starting with the active player, so that doesn't that was down to the wire, man. Uh, yeah, that was that was about as close as you could get. I mean, and, you know, it, it is fortunate when you when they top deck an Elvish Mystic like that too. Yeah, if, if he'd top deck something a little different, Ugin? change the yeah Ugin would have changed the game a little quite dramatically. Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't have won, but he would have he would have tied, and ties is a little more a little better than. Losing out, right? Yeah, so coming up next here at Pew Pew Card and Game Friday Night Magic, we've got round three. I think we've got four rounds tonight. We've got, uh, I think so. We've got round three coming up. Uh, so we're going to have that ready for you guys here in a little bit. I'm just going to reset the scoreboard here so we are ready to go as soon as our next batch of players sit down. So, Sean, good luck in uh, round three running yeah. that Artarka Red. How are you liking it so far? Uh, it's doing doing all right. Uh, I had one one bad game. The, where I got stuck on two mana, and all I needed was one more mana because I had a couple of masters in hand, but uh, just didn't come, and I got overrun by big creatures because it just was too mm. two mana it was just too slow. Yeah. But uh, I managed just to go three games and uh, just basically lean on Foundry Street. Man, that, I, that was some explosive damage coming out when turn one Foundry, pass turn. Dragon Fodder, swing for three. Outburst, swing for... Uh, let's see, he's a four, swing for six total. You know, that was just I mean, it, a lot my, of damage. <laughs> my Tarka card, definitely haven't got to play yet t tonight, but if I get to play that card, it can tendently speed the, speed the game up even faster, but it's unfortunate that sometimes you don't get to play cards that you have in your deck, but... Yeah. No, I'm putting it in right now. Oh man! Round three. All right, All right so well, round three. So uh, I'm off and uh, yeah, good luck, three, good luck, so. dude. So uh, yeah, I'm Robbie Votaw broadcasting tonight. Is Sean helping us out on mic? Appreciate Eric him. Alex, Sean, you're playing Chance. Miguel, you're playing 
we got round three coming up. Jake, you're playing Dallas. Who do you want on stream? Who wants to be on stream? Not Aaron, not Sean. So who we got left? We can do Sean a chance. Let's do Sean a chance. Yeah, if you don't want to be on stream, you don't got to be, dude. You already told me. We'll, we'll do that. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. I respect your wishes. All right. All right, so joining me now, Mike, uh, owner of PP Card and Game, Mr. Ryan Binbrook. What is up? Yeah, dude, grab some grab some cam camera time over oh, here. Oh, yo. All right, so uh, notable from that last game, we had some people pop in the chat that like to have fun oh, with, Q1. Uh, with the That's internet. That's the new binary. We switched the I, O's with yeah, the Q's. The Q tails make them stronger. <laughs> yeah, so I had to one-up that guy and body him for free. Yeah, you cap. Yeah, yeah, stupid nerd. How is he supposed to win that? Come on, geek. Get on my level, son. Geek. So, with these two players, which decks do you think they're going to be playing? Well, we got Sean's already been on stream once tonight. Okay. Rocking the Artarka. I'm going to call it. I can't think of a good name for it right now. Artarka Red, which is basically red deck wins. So, low to the ground, small drop creatures backed by tokens, uh, and some formidable and some uh, some uh, prowess. Okay. Um, on top of that, it splashes a little bit of green for the new card Artarkas Command. So that lets you do, uh, it's one green, one 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 red. I think it's the colorless two. Okay. Uh, it's got three different modes, you pick two. One is uh, players can't gain life this turn. Two right. is do three damage to our creature or player. And four is play, or three is play an extra land. I think that one and Dramoka's Command yeah, are, those the are the two, two that I really like. Yeah. And I like Ojatai's just because it's kind of a shittier cryptic. But yeah. I mean, not shittier, it's just more sp specific. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah, not, not, not quite as heavy right. on the mana cost, but you get some of the same effects. Okay. And what is Chance playing? Do we know? I think Chance is sticking with his uh, homebrew red white token deck, which stopped me. Nice. In a game. <laughs> Nice. Man, <laughs> speaking of that, man, I wish Landon was here. Landon is our, uh, our oh, resident uh, green-white devotion player. Oh, she uh, playing devotion? I thought he, he was uh, ascended from the ranks of Minotaur Kid. Yes, Minotaurs to manifest. That would have been pretty tight to put his deck on stream. His deck's pretty cool. Yeah, it's the, the green-white that's been running around lately. Also, I got a pretty cool rug dragon deck. Okay, shut your mouth, Sean. <laughs> Dude, it did pretty well against Kyle's uh, wealth deck, but in his defense, he couldn't really wealth anything of mine. <laughs> Magic the Gathering matchups, kids. All right, so here is kind of the uh, the backbone, if you will, of the name of the deck. Now, Sean said he hasn't really seen the command card that much tonight. Did I mute myself? Test, test, test. No, I just I just turned myself down way low. Okay. Nice. I don't know how I even did that. I must have hit some <laughs> weird hockey. All right. So, anyways, uh, that's the uh, Artarka's command. That uh, let me make sure I spelled this right. I've been misspelling Artarka uh, completely wrong tonight. Um, there's the command card. So he said he himself he has not been seeing a lot of uh, Artarka's command. And I'm gonna be honest with you right now. That is a good card. I don't even know if it's necessary for this deck to win. Cause I mean. You're talking about a turn three, swing for three, anything, or turn two, swing for three. If anything, it's a stabilizer. Yeah, he, I mean, really the only predominant life gain in this format right now that comes to mind is the whip. Seeker of the, okay, all right, okay, let me back up. The whip for sure, uh, Seeker of the way. Yeah, Seeker can be a trigger, real bitch. And then at the very ass end of the life gain, um, Radiant Fountain. Oh yeah, but I'm yeah, not really sure you want to. But I don't to, think you'd command a fountain, to be honest. Yeah, and then well, that's what I'm saying is like the whip definitely far and away. Yeah, would definitely be huge, especially if somebody goes, you know what? If somebody's if I, banking on the whip to yeah. to win. You would Tarka I, and blast them. Hey, Chance, are you doing red white tokens tonight? Yep. yep. Red white goats. Red, red <laughs> white goats. <laughs> indeed, indeed. All right, what's up, Mind Sway? All right, so our players are ready to go here. I'm not really sure who won the role, but we'll we'll see soon enough. Okay, so Chance will be opting to, to be on the play. Again, two out of three set up here. We already see our tokens on the board, so we do see Galvin tokens on Sean's side, in, indicative of uh, go, uh, Dragon Fodder, Hordling Outburst, and Goblin Rabble Master. Let's go back to Atarka's command for one more minute. Yeah. 
All right, so we talked about the life gain aspect of it, right? Yep. 